Think about Corbyn. Think about the question you asked first as to what we've got on the table right about now. Because at the moment what we've got is a conservative government. We have a conservative borough that has neglected that has neglected this community. Do you know I mean that does not see the community? That has disregarded and looked down on working class white people as well as non-white people in this community. They treat us with contempt. Look at the residents. Look at where you are. Look at the housing there. These are the most marginalised um, people in, in, in the most vulnerable and marginalised people. The, the council doesn't hear these people. They don't even see them. That's why they went and spent 10 million on the facade of a building rather than putting sprinklers and, and fire, um, uh, uh, fire alarms because they're much more concerned about the aesthetics of an exterior of a building as to how rich residents in this borough sees that as an eyesore and how they can pad that up and ignore the rights of the people inside. Someone that is the reality. So when you talk about, Someone is this Corbyn? This isn't political. Do you know what I'm saying? This isn't a political issue. It's about people's lives. Look at a burnt out building. It's a monument. Do you know what I mean? It stands as a permanent exhibition until it's demolished. Do you know what I mean? People wake up in the morning, they've got to see that. And every time they see that, they see how marginalized, disenfranchised and divided they would like this community to be. But when they woke up in the morning, what you saw was not just black, white, Muslim, Christian. You saw rich and poor. Because there have been rich people in this community living cheek by jowl with poor black people for generations. This community, when we talk about community, and people like to throw around and take ownership of this community. So when they say, we are in this community, and, and you see a black person, you think, you might be black community. Community is made up of layers of people. You have the black communities made up of the African and Caribbean community, of which we have symbolic things like the carnival. You have the white working class community, which is symbolic by the market. You have the Moroccan community. You have the Somalian uh, community. You have the Portuguese and Spanish community, which is symbolized by the delicatessens and the little coffee shops that they have on the bellow. And that, when it comes together, interfaces and becomes what we construct as a community. Even rich white people, like people like David Wainwright, who've been around here for generations. That is the core and the heart of what we call this community. Everyone else who comes in and buys in because they've seen the movie or they think it's a trendy area because the media says, look how wealthy it is. And these people come in and they sit down in the Bugattis and the Ferraris and their Porsches and they make no effort to integrate. This isn't a race thing. This isn't black or white. Do you know what I'm saying? It's a class thing. The borough with Victoria Burrick, with Victoria Burrick, Victoria Burrick, that MP, she didn't speak to these people. Victoria Burrick speaks to those people in Chelsea. Emma Dent Coed, the MP, speaks for these people. Do you know what I'm saying? Do you want to just say what you said about the building on camera? What about, what about camera. the building on the camera? It's on camera there. What do you mean? What's it on camera? Well, you, you should have had your camera. Well, you, man, you, you meet, you see, you, you guys have, hold on. You the, the mainstream, the, the, the mainstream, no problem. Uh, no problem. You can pull out, pull out your camera. But what's your response? The mainstream media has dropped the ball. That's why social media. What is your response to what he said? How do you, how do you feel about what he just, what he just said about this area? Why is it a class thing? Now, what's your personal view? We have people who come, who have a certain amount of income. When the average on, property price in this area is 1.2 million, who do you think can buy it? When we talk about class, and some people say it's not about class because What's some of the people who own properties in that building had the right to buy and they own the property. Who's gonna, do you think any rich white man's gonna go and buy a house yeah, in Grenfell Tower? Anything. That was still the white working class, the aspiring white working class, the, aspir the aspirants yeah. who Thatcher convinced to go and buy their own home. So they go and buy a, a house yeah, on the 31st was. floor of some housing estate and believe they're now arrived. Nonsense, they're just as poor and working class, only that they own the, the property deeds of their house. Say so, so your name first and spell it, so they've got your name. My name's Ishmael Blagrove, B-L-A-G-R-O-V-E. Okay. In what ways is this, this side of the borough treated differently from... It's not about sides, because what you have is, you have people, rich and poor living cheek by jowl. You may have a man living in one social housing there, and a man who owns the, a million, uh, uh, or, a, or a three million property right next door to him. Do you know what I'm saying? It's not about that. You know, I understand, know understand, it. understand it. What we, ha what we have is, in that same dynamic and scenario that you've just raised, what we have is a situation whereby the council listens to the man who owns his house as opposed to the man who's in social housing. That is where the crisis in this country is, is coming from. Whereby the marginalised, the disenfranchised, the voiceless people are not heard. And the only people who you, you have to have a certain income or be connected to certain people before you're even heard. And what we have is you have poor working class people in this community who need to be legitimised by some cut glass accent before people take them seriously. Do you know what I'm saying? That's the bullshit. Can I ask, can, that's can, going can down. I ask, what do you just? I know you just said it, but we haven't put it. How do you feel when you look at that building? Yeah? What do you mean, how do I feel? How do you feel? Look at when you can look at that building, you can tell me how you feel and times that by a thousand. 
Do you know what I mean? It's people, it's not just looking at building and seeing how do I feel, it's looking at the building and knowing that I know people who died in that building. Everyone, every resident, every person who, who can call himself a part of this community of Notting Hill would have at least known one person in that building. In the morning when it, when, when it was time, when I'd seen all this stuff breaking out, news of people calling me at 1.30, 4 o'clock and all the rest of it, and I, and I recognised that just the locality that my daughter couldn't come to school. She goes to school in, 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 in one of my children that I look after, is, goes to school in, in Avondale. Do you know what I'm saying? So, and as soon as I said to her, listen, you can't go to school, she said, why? I said, because there's been a fire. She looked at me and said, my God, my children, my, 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 my friends are in the school, my friends are there. So she started getting to hyperventilating and all that. Look at how it affects this community. So when you say to me, what do I feel? Do you know what I mean? I feel the pain of knowing people who've died in that, su in that, in that attack. Yesterday I was sitting down in my house with a friend of mine, and as we sat down he was saying, well what's happened to Khadija Say? Khadija Say is, a, is, this, is this breaking artist, she's a black art, young artist, just breaking, she's had her first exhibition in, in Venice, what's happened to her? And she's been messaged on social media that she's, that she, that she's alive, then that, that she hasn't, that she isn't, that she hasn't been she's, um, unidentified, that no one knows who she is. And just as we're talking about this, we get the breaking news on the story, and they put a picture of her on the news saying that, uh, but that she's been one of those who've been identified she was as, a a, a, as a victim. Not necessarily a friend of mine, but we'd have known her. These are people that we are acquainted with and know. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Others who were very, would, have, would have been friends with them. Another friend I heard jumped from one of, the, one of the floors. Do you know what I mean? This is the sort of story, the backdrop, do you know what I mean? To these images that you have. You're down here and it's just some sort of freeding frenzy for you to sort of get a new sensational story which of you, you might make your, your career in terms of breaking this, uh, 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 giving a nice news report. This is a reality that people have to live here day in and day out. People know this. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It is not just a story. And when we look at this situation, we see that a situation which has been brewing for years. Yeah. We see something whereby the residents have been complaining about okay. it for yeah. years. Explain we see whereby the residents have, uh, uh, have, commis have commissioned their own independent reports in terms of the health and safety, the fire risks in that, com in, 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 in that building in particular, but not just that building in terms of Silchester, Warnington, there are other issues in terms of whereby they've been trying to knock down buildings. They use the, the, the term regeneration. Do you know where I'm Now, yesterday I watched on the media whereby some, some government, it was either Theresa May or some government minister, stands up and tells me about lessons must be learned. Do not dismiss or think you're going to bury this community in some hollow platitude about lessons will be learned. What lessons are going to be learned? Did you learn anything from Larkin Hill in, 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 in Campbell in 2009? You learned fuck all from that. Do you understand me? So don't come and talk about lessons going to be learned. Do not treat this, this community as some ignorant, low IQ yeah. community. Do you know what I'm saying? We're not going to be dismissed with hollow platitudes which you used to bury and, 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 and give, give those who are responsible. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? You mitigate the responsibility of those who are responsible for those decisions. This is not a case of ne negligence, this is a case of corporate manslaughter. Yeah. People should be held accountable, people should be in jail for this. But I very much doubt we will get that with this corrupt government. If people are lucky there's no uprising in this country. If I had my way, I wouldn't be sat here, sitting out here talking. You'd be the first places that would be seizing. You, the media, you would be held hostage. You are the ones who, who, are the, who facilitate this. You are the mouthpiece of this government. You are the people who, who, who make this possible. You are the ones who validate it. You are just as culpable as this government. We're all in it together. Since Thatcher and Reagan, you've, you've monopolized and capitalized this country. And, you know what I mean? It's not about money. Do you know what I mean? It's about, for them, I had, one, I had one ITV newsman say, oh, well, look at the real estate. You hear it, not even. Is that how you look at it? You see yeah. people's lives, you see people's, people in ashes, yeah. and you're talking about real estate? Yeah. You're lucky you never get lynched. What do you, what do you want to happen? What do, you ha what do you want to happen now? What do, you think what do I want to happen? happen? I want it to be a revolution in this country. I say, fuck the media, fuck the mainstream. Yeah. You don't deserve to be there. Do you know what I'm saying? I mean, we should be campaigning not to government, but to the BBC, who acts as mouthpieces for this corrupt government. Do you know what I mean? People need a revolution in this country, nothing short of that. And if this was any other country, there'd have done been a revolution. We've seen how you, the mainstream media, have responded and reacted. For Two years you've hounded, demonized them, uh, um, Jeremy Corbyn. And you said he was unelectable. He can't be, there's no possibility of this man being elected. And you created that narrative that people actually believed your bullshit for a while. But what this election has done is shown that people are immune. They were in bulletproof vests yeah. to you and the other billionaire sort of media owners and Rupert Murdoch and all those other motherfuckers. They're immune to that shit there. And that is the vote of confidence, not in terms of Jeremy Corbyn, but it dismisses me. But it also stands up to you as the mainstream media. I say you personally, but I'm identifying you as the mainstream media. Do you understand what I'm saying to yeah. you? I'm I, saying identify as the I, mainstream I, media. You are motherfuckers. I, you are a bunch of motherfuckers. I like you anyway. I like you too. I like you too. I like you fried, boiled, any which way I can fucking have you motherfuckers. Jeremy Corbyn is I mean, round the corner. I know, I'm just, I'm just with him. Yeah, okay. I think you should interview.
Well, I'm not here to express opinions. Are you? Are you um, well, no, so I'm taking it easy. Do you, 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 you have friends in the building as well? I'm a local. Are you my best friend? Yeah. 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 Yeah.